Okay, so we have some tiger eye here that we're using for ore. And we're getting ready for a game, so I have my leather strips or mats, and I got a bunch of different ways, you know, with some foam crystals and glass orbs and that kind of stuff, depending on what type of lore I'm using at each location. But ore is very specific in that it's heavy, it's tiger eye, and because it's too expensive to buy tons and tons of it, and you don't want people carrying around 40 pieces of ore. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're taking these magic marker pens. These are the permanent marker, um, the Prismacolor. Basically they smell like they stink horribly. <laughs> and you can get them at most craft stores. And then I'm just marking right in the, trying to put it in a crack or a crevice so it's it'll stay a little longer. It will rub off eventually. But, you know, 5 or 10 or 40 or 30 or that kind of stuff. So this will dramatically decrease the amount of props you'll need. And it will also make it a lot easier for players. Now, you may want to instruct players how to keep, keep track of this. Because if they're only using 10 or and they have a 40 or, well, they have to keep, okay, well, I got 30 or left on there. So they'd write it down. Uh, players can do that. That's not real tough. Here's a gold pen as well. You can see the gold pen. So as we're getting ready, getting the props ready, and getting all everything ready here for this game. Again, we use leather strips here for the uh, the hides. And we put, you know, two hide or five hide or ten hide or whatever. Uh, and then the thin stuff will be one hide or five hide or strips, whatever. So these are some ways to manage uh, that type of thing. And like for our coins, here you can kind of see how we're doing the coins. I don't knock this whole thing over. Having a single denomination of coin is really tough when you start getting into players that have a lot of things. And so what we're doing is we're developing molds and coins. So this is, you know, a one copper, but then you got, you know, five copper here and 10 and 25. And we do have ones for 50 pieces. We were trying some ingots. These didn't work as well, um, but you know the Roman numeral L for gold. We didn't. This is from an older set, uh, which I mean it works, but uh, so I mean we've gone through different ways of doing Roman numerals and that kind of thing. And you know people, in order to make it so that people don't get confused, basically we went back to just writing what it is on there, um, and then like here's silver. So, and each one of them is a different shape. So the silvers are all the octagons, coppers are uh, circles, and then the golds are squares. So we did it this way so that when somebody's rummaging around in their uh, pocket, they don't have to reveal all of their coin when they're trying to make a negotiation. They don't want to give all the way, you know, give all their cards away. So we made each one a different shape, and then that way you can kind of feel around in your pocket. Okay, that's a large. You know, um, what is this? This is a square. <laughs> it's a, been a long day. This is a square, so you can see the largest square is 25 gold, and they'll know that just by going through it. So these are some ways to reduce the amount of props that you're going to need. And again, um, on the mats and such, you can use, you know, we prefer you make them, but if you need to use the, the glass beads to start with, you can make these worth one, two, or five. Again, you can mark them on the back, but it will come off eventually. Or you can go to the, uh, you know, we're making a lot of these out of the 3D printer and then molding them and then making them out of rubber or foam. What's nice about making it a foam is you can, we can make a lot of different cool colors and stuff and make them quest items as well. But then also you can squish them down into a bag. There's no way that this pointy crystal is going to hurt anybody because it's, it's just foam. On the other hand, it is foam and it doesn't feel as real. So you kind of got to have the give and take of that. But a lot of different options there. And then we do have extra bags, coin purses and such uh, that we made up for PCs that don't have, you know, a coin purse. What we found is they lose the whole purse instead of just the coins. So um, it's really important to have good coin purses and such you may want to make them out of leather instead of felt bags or that kind of thing and so this has just been a prop overview of some of the mats 
and some ways to reduce your costs on these type of mats.